another segment of God science and it's it's really pressure part two hopefully you looked at the, the pressure demonstration that we did last week and um, we're going to take a look at a, another pressure demonstration and you you heard me say that we're, we're really standing on the bottom of an ocean of air so if we look above us we have this whole bunch of air which we can't see we have this column of air pushing down on us and hitting us. So that's really our definition of pressure today. Our definition of pressure is the number of collisions that air molecules are exerting. And I want to show you how much that is. All right, Patty, can you come on up here for me, please? Can I, can I ask you to stick up your hand for me, please? And what I'm going to do is I am going to draw, using a pen, hopefully it will come off when you're 18 or so. Okay? I'm going to draw a line that's an inch long. Okay? And I'm going to draw another line that's an inch long and another line, and another line. And so what I have here, what shape is that? It's a square, right? It's a square, can you show, the, show them your hand? There you go, you see that square? And that square is an inch by an inch by an inch by an inch, and we call that a square inch, okay? Now, you have a lot of square inches on your body. Your head is have a lot of square inches, your shoulders, your, your back, your, your whole body is made up of a lot of square inches, right? I want to show you today how many pounds of air you're actually holding up, okay? And what I have here is I have, can you tell me what that number is? Six. Put up your hand. Per square inch, can you hold that up for me, please? Watch your toes, I don't want to hurt your toes. That's six pounds per every square inch. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? Actually, it's more than that. If I had another one of these, we would need another one. How's your math today? Maybe you can get some help from your friends over here. Six plus another six would be what? Twelve. So I would need another one of these things stacked on top of it. 12 pounds per square inch. How would you like to hold 12 pounds, huh? <laughs> that would be really hard, wouldn't it? There's more than that. What's half of six? Three. Three. Add it on to 12. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. It's actually 14.7 pounds per square inch of her body is holding up that amount of air. We would need another one of these, and we would need a half of one of those. That's a lot, isn't it? You ever get tired at the end of the day? No wonder why. Because every square inch of your body, every square inch that she's holding up on her body, she's holding up 15 pounds, 14.7 pounds per square inch. No wonder why you're, you're, you're tired at the end of the day. That's a lot of lifting you're doing. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So knowing that, knowing that for every square inch, we're, you know, there's 14.7 pounds per, per air, or pounds of air on that square inch, we can do some things with that. All right. And so, Blake, I'm going to ask you, how about if we move that chair out of the way? Because you're going to need to stand up on this. Gary, could you sort of slide towards Chaz, please? So we can... All right. Have you, have you, have you ever, like, done karate? Do you know of a guy named karate? Have you heard of karate? Yeah. Ah, there we go. So you're an expert now. Yeah. That's awesome. You're an expert on karate. I knew I picked the right person. <laughs> All right. 
So what we have here is a very, very thick board here. Okay, some people will call it a yardstick, some people call it a meter stick. Well, this is a yardstick. I just picked it up at one of these sales out here because you can get them cheaper at those yard sales. I, I have not met a, I haven't found a meter sale yet. So we're gonna we're gonna do the yard side here, okay? Notice that there's meter, that's a meter over there. But that's really difficult stuff. Alright? So we're gonna keep it in the yard part. Alright? What I want to do, I'm gonna hold it down, and I'm gonna ask you to create up this board and try to break this really thick, right? Really thick board. Yes? Oh my goodness. Oh boy. You ready? Let me hold it down. I'll hold it down. Karate chop it. When are you ready? Oh. Come on, you gotta do it. Keep going. There you go. One more time. Let's, let's go on the meter side. Let's see if that's any better. Are you okay? Is it hurting your hand? There you go. Look at that one. Good job. Good job. Now, so that's pretty cool. Took a couple whacks, but there's nothing wrong with that. But you know what? One thing that I don't like doing here is I, I feel like I'm working really hard here. I'm the one going, holding this board, making sure it doesn't break, right? That's a lot of hard work. I don't want to do that. I'm going to let this piece of paper do the trick. Okay? I'm going to put this paper down and let this paper do the trick of holding that board down. It's really heavy paper, isn't it? Yeah. Is it really heavy? Yeah, you're the expert on it here. Is that really heavy paper? No, it's really, really light. But one thing that we learn from this is we have a lot of square inches on this paper. A lot of square inches. Okay? And remember, Hattie, can you put your hand up there? Could you show them your hand again? Gotcha. I don't know if they can see it. You gotta sneak it over. All right, almost hit your, your face there. Sorry, I think I did hit your nose. But there's a lot of square inches on this. And so there's 15, 14.7 pounds per square inch. There's a lot of, oh my goodness, this should be okay. This should be a piece of cake. <laughs> but one of the things, you notice is what I'm doing here. What am I doing? I'm flattening it out, right? Because where do I not want it? Yes, because we got 15 pounds going this way. We also have 15 pounds going this way. And so a lot of times I can't feel that because they cancel out. So what I'm trying to do is to make sure that the air underneath it is gone as much as I can. All right, you ready to go? We'll go on three here, okay? We'll try to do it as fast as you can, and as quick as you can. But one of the things you forgot to do, what do they do when they do karate? Chop. Oh, they, karate. Chop. Yeah, they always, they always go, ah, yeah. Okay, don't they? It scares the living daylights out of you when, you know, someone does that to you. Well, and that's okay, but we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to go, we're going to yell, science! Not how you yell, that doesn't mean anything, right? Science! Okay, and then you just snap that thing. Let's see if we can scare the heck out of the board, too. All right, you ready? All right, we'll go on three. Actually, you can go whenever you're ready. Hang on, let me get my hands out of there. Okay, don't hit the table, that's going to hurt. One! Two, three. Science! Oh! <laughs> Good try. I didn't get that at all. No, that went flying. I'm glad someone wasn't sitting over there. I'm gonna pick it up late for him. Pick it up, buddy. Oh well. Good shot. Good try. All right. You can put it on the table. All right. I need someone who's really, really brave. 
Doug, you coming up here? All right, Chad, what I want you to do is a regular uh, or a regular garbage bag that we got from Melody. I need you to get in there, make sure you're facing the camera, okay? Careful, don't hurt yourself getting in. Chaz in the bag. Now what's inside the bag, Chaz, besides you? Air. Air. And then air molecules are moving around and they're pushing out on this bag. What do we have out here? Air. Air. Air molecules moving around and pushing in on this bag. They hit each other or they're hitting inside, you know, one in on, on the top of the bag, one on the bottom of the bag, and they're hitting at the equal amounts. What's going to happen to them? They're going to cancel each other out. So here, I'm going to ask you to, to see what happens when they do cancel each other out. What can you do? Can you move around in that bag? Can you flap around? Yeah, because all he's doing is lifting the bag. Now, I wonder what will happen if we remove the air inside of that bag. So we have a vacuum. So we'll put the vacuum in there, and this is where I'm going to hold, ask you to hold that. I'll take care of the bag. So you don't necessarily have to. You worry about the vacuum. Protect it. I'll pull my neck. <laughs> it's sort of hot in here, isn't it? All right, we'll turn it on. Let's see. What's going to happen is that air is going to get pulled out of that bag, and we'll see what happens. We have one more segment of pressure. So we look forward to that in another episode of God Science. Science.